Okay, I did a tiny bit of off-screen farming because I really want to show off these weapons. So we are going to take the awakened weapon for the axe, the hammer axe. I also realized that we had the ability to unlock Mishved this entire time and we just never did. Okay, so awakened weapon. After hitting an enemy with a fully charged launcher, gain 30% cooldown speed for three seconds. So all of these get an awakened form that get basically like a passive. And if you're not sure what the passive is, you can come in here and check it. And whenever you go to uh, grab it, it'll actually show you. And they also changed the bow in this recent update. You basically have three arrows now. And if you're out of arrows, your launcher goes on to cooldown. It's to prevent um, some silly launcher spam that was happening. So is there a way to transform this? Oh, I unfortunately have to still unlock the alternate form with two of these and five of those. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, well, I'm not gonna grind that much off screen, so we're just going to go ahead and go into a run with Mishved and the Awakened Hammer, and we will see about getting stuff done. So to let you know, guys know, Mishved is that whenever you are grounded, you can jump while charging your la uh, launcher, and charging your launcher during combat builds up meter. When full, your net's perfect launcher depletes it and gives you 60% damage. We're going to start another run since we haven't actually run with the cursed, uh, want to run with a cursed soul thing yet. We're just going to keep that going. But you can see that meter there. Looks like the meter resets per room potentially. That deals more damage. Launcher deals more damage. We'll go ahead and go with that. anyone else is checking out the new update, you know, let me know how you guys feel about the new weapons. I am a huge fan of the new uh, scythe slash staff thing. And like, man, it is so hard for me to not just play that every single time now. It is such a good weapon. I really, really like how the developers have have have, have done that one. Oh, it's just like, it speaks to me, man. Um, yeah, we haven't done a lot of Zalvoon lately. We're going to do Zalvoon. We should have 60% increased damage now. It's been a hot second since I've used the hammer. I do want to check out the bow, probably next episode, because they have changed it quite a bit. Uh, and I would like to see those changes in, in like, immediately. Um... There's no, that's not what I mean. I want to see those changes for myself instead of just deciding based on what other people say. Whenever you slay an enemy, they have a chance to become terrified. Slaying a certain amount of enemies guarantees a dodge. I like the dodge, to be honest. Having some sort of defensive ability in this game is just kind of a good idea. I will say that uh, our first video on this yesterday did, well, uh, day before yesterday, did okay. It's not doing as well as some of the other series on the channel, but it's also doing better than other, than not naming names. Um, there's some series on the channel that are not doing nearly as well as I would like them to, and I put way too much effort into them, but it's doing well enough that we will definitely probably do um, at least a handful of uh, Spiritful episodes. I am going to try and cover at least all of the new weapon forms, um, hopefully without too much grinding off screen. I. You know, I, I would like to hear your, your guys' opinions. For people who do actually watch these episodes, um, you know, I, I looks like I'm going to have to get a lot of resources, and it's very unlikely that the amount of resources I can I need, the amount of resources I need in order to get all of these new alternate weapons, the hammer and the fists alternate weapons, it's unlikely that I can get those without doing some amount of runs. Do you guys want me to just do a bunch of runs and kind of be patient and wait for the new weapons? Or would you prefer me to grind it out off screen and the next episode just be one of the new alternate weapons? Let me know. Um, we got Dousing Attack. We always want to upgrade our attack and our launcher as quickly as possible. Dousing Attack gives us also um, the ability to add Drenched on hit, which is useful, especially because Mishved is pretty good at the status attack side of things. Should get. We now need to remember that we can jump now during it. Oh, 
Oh, that's kind of hard to do. That's like a new tech almost. My jump button and my my launcher button are kind of like near each other. So that's kind of a very difficult th thing to do. I was having to concentrate quite a bit to try and jump while doing it. No uh, rift. Maybe it's going to be between um, Zavun and, and Kelman there. Oh, uh, if it was, then I just, I just, I think I just killed my chance of a rift. That's unfortunate. It won't hurt to miss one. Beautiful shard shot there. I don't say so myself. Guy just running from me. We're gonna take a double here as well. Again, we only want to take two of those each time. Increase damage per synergy. I don't have any synergies. Yeah, we probably missed out on it. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is, kind of. Oh, that was actually pretty helpful that time. Being able to jump during the charge. Still can't dodge during it. Which is what I instinctively did there. Crashing yourself why I specified that. Oh, I bounced them both into the explosion and then they died. That was cool. Uh, critical dash. That's the dash slice. I'm uh, hugely partial to that one. I will take it quite often. We'll take another Zalvoon here. I think we can just take everything. You know, I'm going to take Shadow Partner. I might not have given it enough of a chance. Dowsing Bolt. Dowsing Bolt's a fantastic. Yeah, Dowsing Bolt is deeply fantastic. We should get another uh, Ember here. Held on a little bit too long there. I really wanted the perfect launcher. Shadow partner here. Okay, Shadow Partner's not as bad as I make it out to be. Jeez. She keeps lucking out on those essentially. And keeps dropping them exactly where I want to be. Yeah. Okay. Perennial Ash and Essence. Nice. I think we needed three perennial ashes. So as long as we kill the Nets boss, the Trinity, we'll get that. Okay. Whenever you hit with a perfect launcher, it receives plus 50% damage. That'll be really good for our current build. Each land, each attack you land on an on a enemy adds 10% to your Nets launcher. That's also really good. We're going to take both of these launcher things. And we'll take some Yamphus. If we're taking launcher stuff, then the emphasis is really good for us. Because the emphasis is pretty good at like wall spots. Like Up and down to deal more damage. Dousing bolt fires an additional projectile. Uh, yeah, that's just. I didn't realize that that was even an option. That's really cool. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. We'll take a Luminous Gem here. And we'll want to not do the thing, the uh, the steal here. Because if we do, we will lose access to it. And that's just like losing hope in our run kind of thing. 
we're not we're not hopeless. Um, yeah, we definitely need the combat runes because we need five combat runes and three perennial ash. Uh, crits clone that mimics you. Oh yeah, that's this is an upgrade. Um, I think we'll take the attack damage because we do want to weave between attacks and launchers for this run. I will say, if anyone has any ideas on how to make this series better and more enjoyable, you know, if anyone has any ideas of stuff that they'd like to see from this series, um, you know, it's, like I said, it's not doing perfect, so uh, I'm, I'm willing to hear it. This this one is basically for me and for fans of the game. It is not necessarily for growth. It's not going to really get us anywhere in the way of growth. So this is just for us. Yeah. So if you guys have any ideas or anything you want to see, you know, feel free to uh, feel free to leave it in the comments and um, just let me know. Gain bonus critical damage for each blessing you have of at least one luminous luminous gem. Um, or wolf punish. I think I'm gonna go with constellation because the other ones are not gonna come up as often for me. I have a hard time capitalize on the wolf punish. I'm gonna go for HP because the final boss is a bit of a beast nowadays. I got him, or her, but they got me too. Multi-hit, nice! I keep forgetting that I have a special too. It doesn't really last that long. Huh. Jeez, um, that thing was like chasing me down. Bolt deals extra damage. Next blessing will be higher rarity. That's what I was looking for. It's my favorite one of hers to grab. And then we can go to the shop right away to guarantee what, um, we don't want that though. But there might be a synergy. Okay, let's take it. Time is of the essence. Cannot drop below 1.1. Movement speed. Um, actually, I am actually going to take the movement speed here because uh, the hammer does mean we're a little slow. And then we'll go back to Zelda. He got dodged. Does that definitely hit me? I didn't see if there was a miss there. There's normally like a, um, there's like a little text indicator whenever we get a dodge off and it see it. Go ahead and get rid of that guy. And then we need combat runes. Failing that, we'll take dormant embers because we're not done with all of our blessings either. Weak points. Confused enemies will reveal their weak points and remain confused for continuous duration. And base dodge chance. Yeah. <laughs> base dodge chance is nice. Need to remember that the up attack for this weapon, or the up air, is quite good. Meanwhile, the dare is very bad. I mean, it's not bad. It's just dangerous. And we have not gotten a single rift. The rift must have been there. I should pay more attention to where they're going to be. Um, Memphis. Hydration. Drinking from regional shrines. Blah, blah, blah. Up and down attack. Um, Number of enemies spawned. We'll take the up and down attack. My up attack, like I just said, is pretty good. So. Dark Trinity. We notoriously have a bad record with Dark Trinity, so let's see how this goes. We do want the archer dead as soon as possible. 
Canceled his attack? Oh no, he died. Okay. I was about to say, I don't think I've ever canceled his attack. And I still haven't. was on cooldown. Oh, wow. The other one died. Sorry, my friends. I failed. I I actually thought we had we had not killed Spearman yet. That went really well. Damn. Okay. Let's see what we got. Um, holding launcher also increases power. That might be a good idea. Fall slower while uh, holding your launcher. Uh, yeah, we'll take concentrated launcher, and then extra damage from perfect launcher, and extra damage from bosses. I'm less worried about getting to the boss as, as much as I am worried about, like, defeating it. And then we're lacking on the artifact department. So we're going to take it here. While grounded launchers deal extra damage, while airborne tests do more damage. That's pretty good for this weapon. It's also a new artifact that gave me an entry. We need to kill the bat, because I have a tendency to take a lot of damage from these bats. Point in fact. A little bit of a rough room. I'd love some healing. Bolt or launcher damages drenched enemies, deal with damage to AoE. Okay, I'm cool with that. The corrosion would have been good as well. That's shield damage. Um I think we take the shot because we need healing. Hate to do it. Thank goodness. Hidden rift. My least favorite one to fight. But it shouldn't be too bad. That was pretty nice. Can we carry him again? Yeah. God, the bolt is so good against them. That's crazy. Hydration, loss at sea, deal more damage based on the amount of waves. We'll take the waves. That'll help us get to the boss, I guess. And time of the essence. Whenever you hit advance all cooldowns, deal. We'll take time of the essence. Be nice if we can get the fire one that 
maybe we can get it. That says that based on our counter, uh, we do a bunch of damage. Wow, I almost one-shot that guy. Ah, come on. Okay, that's pretty cool. I used the clone to attack that guy at range. Okay. The um the AoE splash is actually kind of super good. Wings of Flame, Bounty. We'll take Bounty out of those options. Bounty is uh, we get a lot a more depth for dust from all sources. Oh, we can, oh, we can do the Ice Climbers thing of disconnecting our, or disjointing our attacks. That's kind of crazy. Pick a Luminous Gem here. Uh, definitely the Sucker Launcher, because our whole build is around launchers. Speaking of, five combat rooms. Um, I think we're all take this one. That guarantees us to doing more damage during the next boss fight, which we might need. Oh, it doubles my freaking launcher too, or my um. Okay, I actually like this now. I went from it being my least favorite to. I, I actually think it's really cool. It doesn't last very long, but it does have a very short cooldown. I'm actually really, uh, okay, I've come around. I'm a really big fan of that now. Uh, we have five and three. I think we can unlock the Twin Atzes next time. Very nice. Uh, calculated is a favorite of mine. It's whenever I hit consecutively, I get scaling damage. And if I miss, I lose it all. Night Heist. After clearing several combat rooms, gain a, a random blessing, gains a luminous gem. Ooh, that is very good. What is the combination there? That was, hold on. I want to, I want to see that combination. It seems like I can't actually access the blessings list during a run.
Oh, we got him. Okay. Oh. Well, we'll definitely have enough perennial ash now. Oof. Okay. Let's see if we can get the final boss. Launcher charges instantly. I mean, it's probably one of the best things for the hammer, to be honest. Perfect launcher does 40% more damage. Launcher does 15% more damage. And it's going to be our last one, so we'll take the 10% damage. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of the instant launcher thing. Okay, let me look at that. That's what Instant Launcher does. It's amazing. Hydration, regional shrines, each room in a current... Okay, so that helps us during the boss as well, I think. That's damage for each room in a current uh, run. Current region, sorry. That is. Ooh, we barely dodged that. Oh, come on. Honestly, got a little confused there, and I thought that, um... I thought that my character was the shadow, and I didn't dodge. <laughs> Up and down attack, deal more damage. Fires and additional bolts. Only seven enemies required to uh, dodge. We'll take the Rant Relic Tinkerer here. Um, We'll take the increased level in this one, because that's pretty good. And that one gives us just a little bit of a benefit by increasing its level. I won't take money so I can guarantee a heal at the end. You having trouble, mate? Man, those guys, uh, kind of don't like those ledges, huh? 110 dust. The 10% extra dust is from Celesh. We're going to take Celesh again to see if we can get a synergy. Teamwork. Ah, oh, he got me with it anyways. Come on, get over there. There we go. Ah! I am taking a lot of damage all of a sudden. Okay. Just be careful. Be careful. We're going to take more combat runes because we're going to need them to unlock the twin fists. Enemies inflicted by Sass Vets also receive more damage. They have a lot of Sass Vets on them, so we're going to go and take that. Get another Zalvoon. Oh, come on. That didn't hit me. 
I keep looking at the shadow one. Ah, oh, come on, these freaking traps. I literally died because of traps. Like if it was if I took out all the trap damage in that run, I would have been fine. But I I was being distracted by the shadow one. Um, if you'll notice I dodged moves that were coming for the shadow one, not for me. Ah oh, man, that was not a great showing at the end there. I apologize. I actually apologize for that one. We're gonna go ahead and grab a few of these things and then we are going to go ahead and end it here. Next time, we are going to be looking at, uh, what is it called? The alternate form of the Quinatsus. They look pretty cool. Tune in for them next time. I hope you have a good day. Goodbye. Goodbye.